Hey friends, welcome back. So today's video is about these amazing strawberries that I made. No, just kidding, but I did make some strawberries tonight. Some chocolate covered strawberries. Yes, so today's video is going to be about CVS and what the heck is going on. So um, so a lot of you follow me on Instagram, you know that I like posted like this big rant about it, kind of, sort of. It's so frustrating because if you are an OG CVS couponer, like you've been couponing for like the last two years at CVS, you know that we were getting some really, really amazing CRTs. Now, a lot of you know that I shop on Saturday nights, aka Sunday mornings, in between the hours of 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. Um, if you wonder why do I shop so late, I like to shop when there's no one in the store and it's also a privacy thing because um, you don't want to put other people on camera because you don't know if that person wants to be on camera, wants to be seen. So it's just more of a privacy thing for me. That's why I have never filmed during the daytime hours because the stores are crowded and it's just kind of, I don't know, I feel like kind of like my space was invaded if somebody was filming me in store. So late at night for me, it's just better and um, that way I can do other things on Sunday. So that is why I film at the hours that I do. A lot of people wonder why do I shop that late. But um, yeah, so anywho, when I go into the store on Saturday nights, aka Sunday mornings, it's about 1 a.m. when I scan my card and so all of my new CRTs are usually always there. But a lot of times, um, lately what's been happening is that I've been getting extra CRTs that pop up that I can see them on the app. If I'm in the store and it's like 2 a.m., I scan my card at 12.30 or 1 a.m. and I only got a certain amount of CRTs, but around 2 a.m. I'm still in the store, I can pull up my app and I just have like 10 or 12 more CRTs that are available. However, if I go scan my card at the red box, it's not going to print any more CRTs out. And it's like, okay, so you gave me these, but they're not available. So I don't want to send them to my card because even if I sent them to my card, they're not going to show up right away for the cashier. So I wait until later that week to go scan my card and then those CRTs will print out. And it also extends the date of those because you can see what date they expire. But if you scan your card later in the week, if they offer you extra CRTs, uh, that will extend the date out and you can use those CRTs like the following week. So um, that's what I've been doing. So last night, um, you guys saw that I just had, I didn't even like show my, me scanning my card because now when I scan my CVS card, I get one CRT printed at a time, no joke, one at a time. I scanned my card 12 times, I think, last night, 12, no joke, because they printed one by one. Normally, what would happen is they would all print on a long receipt, and then you could print several more, and um, two more times or three more times, and you could get like three or four more extra coupons each time. Now it's like I scan it one time, one coupon prints, one time, 12 times last night I scan my card and they all print it. So I got last night, I think the storage bags, CRT, where I got the lunch bags, that printed. I got $5 off of Metal Musil, I got, which I never buy. I got a CRT for a sleep aid, I never buy. A CRT for contact solution, CRT for Centrum Vitamins, uh, CRT, a few other ones of things that I never buy. I no longer get CRTs for diapers. I don't get $3 off of a $15 cosmetic purchase. I don't get $3 off of a $10 razor purchase. I do not get those at all. So if you guys are wondering, is it me or is it just you? No, it is me too. I am in the same boat with you guys and I refuse to get another card. So uh, let me tell you, I have two CVS cards. Well, technically I have three CVS cards. So one is my husband's and the other two are mine. I don't use the other two ever at the same time. Um, one of them is my old card, and so on that card, I used to always get my uh, emailed coupons every single week. I would get like a 30% off or 20% 20 20 off or $5 off of a $30 purchase. 
I would always get those. So when they stopped giving me those, I was like, okay, I'm going to get a new card. So I ended up getting a new card because it had been like seven or eight months without me getting any of those email coupons. And so I got a new card and I started getting them. So then um, every since I started getting them, I don't use the old card anymore. I don't go back to that card. And I don't even check that email to see if they send um, email coupons and I will tell you why in just a second. So I don't use the other card at all. Even like on Black Friday and it's really good deals, I don't use that card at all. Number one, I don't have like a reason to do that many deals because I'm already doing it on the $10 challenge and then I'm doing it on my card. So just trying to keep up with that third one, that would be like just too much for me to keep up with. And plus my stockpile is like fine to where I don't need to do it on that other card so the other one is just like a card that I don't use now if I wanted to I could switch back to that card and not use the current card that I'm using but I feel like if I do that eventually the same thing is going to happen so I'm just kind of riding it out with this card that I'm always using and the another thing is is because you guys are in the same boat too so if you were to go out and get a new card and I'm not telling you not to because I definitely think if you want to you can go ahead and get another CVS card I just think after a while um, that CVS card is going to do the same thing where you're not going to get these great CRTs anymore and you're not going to get the email coupons anymore um, so if that is something that you want to do you do have to have another email and you do have to have another phone number so um, say for instance if your mom doesn't use hers or doesn't go to CVS you could just use your mom's phone number and you could um, make up another email and then you would have to just check that email weekly for the coupons and so another thing with that is if you do decide to do that make sure you log out of your CVS account on your CVS app and log in with the new card information that way you can still see um, what's going on on your new card and you can make sure like if you get an app only coupon you can send those coupons to your account so just don't forget to log out of your CVS app and put your new information but me I'm riding it out and I'm staying with my little raggedy rinky dinky card so um, tonight I noticed that on my CVS app I had some more CRTs pop up I'm not even probably going to use these but it's so funny because I got $2 off of a $6 paper towel purchase and I got $1 off of a sports drink, $1, $1.50 off of an energy drink, um, $1.50 off of bug repellent. When I posted this, a lot of you guys told me that you got them too. I got $2 off of a greeting card. Just like random CRTs that, you know, we just don't really use. And okay, if I'm getting a sports drink, and it's one fifty or no one one dollar off of a drink of a four dollar drink. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be buying a drink that costs four dollars. So that means that if I don't have a coupon for it, I'm still gonna be paying three dollars for this drink. No, that's not gonna happen. And I don't think that it applies to twelve packs. It just I think it just applies to drinks. Sorry, I'm trying to open my drink. Okay, guys. So <laughs> get out. Get out. Come on, Aki, come on, get out, for real. Okay, guys, so I don't know what I was talking about because I was interrupted, but I was probably saying something about the uh, CRTs that are printing that are not very good, and I'm in the same boat as you guys, so I'm definitely not going to get a new card. I'm just going to write it out, and hopefully it will change. But I know some people have the two week get a new card. <laughs> I said card. card. get a new card. What you think this is? <laughs> if I want a new car, I'll get a new car. You ain't get a new car? I ain't got no new car. You just got a new truck. You haven't even had that truck for a year. I'm just saying. You got Whatever a new truck. You, you got plans on getting a car. <laughs> you need to change your mind real quick. <laughs> You know me, I don't care about cars. Alright. Rude. Mama need that new Escalade. <laughs> <laughs> Are you leaving? Yeah. Why? I'm out of here, I got some man stuff to do. Which is? Cupcakes. <laughs> Your cheesecake's coming on Wednesday. 
Wednesday. Okay, so I'm definitely not gonna get a new card. I'm not gonna cha change anything. I'm just gonna write it out and hopefully things change. Now, it's weird. I feel like CVS is testing the waters for everyone who is not on the two week ads. So, some people in certain states uh, are on the two week ad to where their ads are running for two weeks. So when my deals change every Sundays, they're still on the same deals from the previous week. And so I feel like, okay, well, they're probably getting the better end of the deal because even though our, our um, deals are changing weekly, we're not getting the CRTs to link up with the deals that are changing weekly. So it's kind of like we're having to either pay more in ECBs or we're going to have to spend money out of pocket. Now, I'm not going to spend money out of pocket. My stockpile is good enough to where I don't need to spend money out of pocket. However, I will continue to coupon at CVS, but I also understand that doing the $10 challenges helps a lot of people. So when I am doing my CVS videos, I am always mindful of new couponers. So it doesn't benefit me to do my deals and just do my deals and my CRTs because yeah, that's great and I'm getting great deals, but everyone who's watching is not getting these great deals. So say for instance, I have a really awesome cashier that will um, enter the coupons for me if the coupons don't scan they're gonna manually enter the coupons and if the CRT doesn't scan they're gonna override it like they're gonna do that well if that were to happen to me which it doesn't then it's kind of not fair to the people that are watching because that's not happening to them so I'm I'm with you on this because last night when my coupon didn't scan for the Revlon, I put that Revlon right back. I was like, no, no, thank you. I don't need it. I don't want it. I'll take it off. And the same thing with the pizzas. Now, I could have did another transaction for the pizzas for the DiGiorno pizza. However, they only had Supremes left. So I was like, eh, I'll go to another CVS and I'll just buy four from that CVS. And plus, um, I didn't want to buy... Um, eight pizzas when I was originally only getting six because somebody else may have wanted those other two pizzas. So um, I was just like, you know what? It's fine. I'll go to another CVS and I ended up not even going anyway. So um, that is the thing. So I'm kind of like writing it out with you guys and hopefully it's going to change, but I'm just kind of mindful that I don't just want to do my deals if it's not helping anyone and that's why I always do the $10 challenge because in the $10 challenge I don't use any CRTs. The only time I use a CRT um, is if everybody is getting that same CRT that particular week. So if there's a CRT that prints out on a weekly deal for $1.50 off of toothpaste or $2 off of a $3 Pantene purchase then if everybody's getting it then I'm going to use it. But I don't like using the CRTs on the $10 challenge because everybody doesn't have those and if it's a new couponer that's starting out, they need to start somewhere and they're not going to have all of these great CRTs yet. But trust me, on my $10 challenge, on my husband's card, I'm getting all of these really good CRTs but I'm not using them. But they are coming weekly but I don't use them because... Um, I want to coupon right along with the new couponers that are, you know, just starting out. And if I'm using a CRT, it kind of like doesn't add up. So I want you guys to see my total and what I'm paying out of pocket so that your total is the same exact subtotal, not tax. Because I do know that we um, all live in different states. So by me doing that, um, doing the $10 challenges like that, then it's kind of helping everybody because we're all on the same page. Like, okay, so this week we ended with $5 in extra bucks because we did the paper products deal and I'm listening to you guys when you guys leave me those comments I base my videos off of the comments that you leave me trust me I know I may not reply to everybody but I promise I see the comments even if I don't see it hubby will tell me because he has his own gmail account so he doesn't look at my phone he's on his phone he likes every single comment. He doesn't comment, but he does like, he scrolls. He's like, oh, you need to do this because such and such said this. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. Like, he totally reminds me to do things or he's like, oh, hey, such and such th said that you should do this deal. So I do base the $10 challenges off of what everybody, like kind of like a majority rule. What does everybody think? Because if 
um, it's just based off of what I think, then it's not going to be helpful. I want to do things that are helpful to everyone. So um, I know a lot of us are just getting really, really horrible CRTs, and I wish I had an answer, but I honestly don't have one. I don't know why. I'm not going to call corporate because I don't think they're going to give me a definite answer anyways, but they're just probably going to be like, oh, then we're going to, I don't know. I'll just wait it out. We're, we'll do this. We'll do that. Mm -mm, it's not going to happen. Um, I just kind of feel like they're testing the water since everybody is on the two-week ad. A lot of people are on the two-week ad. I feel like we are getting um, a little bit of that treatment, but I don't really know how to word it or say it. But I don't think the people that are on the two-week ad are being punished. They're just having the ads run for two weeks, but here we are not getting the extra CRT. So it's kind of like equal and out. And then if you really, really think about it, if you've been couponing for a long time at CVS, y'all know we've been killing CVS with these deals. CRTs, um, ECBs, zero out of pockets. You know, I mean, we've been doing this for so, so long and you know, all good things come to an end. So I don't know what is in the future for CVS. I just know that, um, I, I just know that I know that it could be frustrating because it is frustrating for me as well. That is why I do not plan out my deals for the week. I do not plan them. I go in the store when I have CRTs from a previous week. I go in the store with an idea of what I'm going to get. But when I get there, things change. So I don't want to spend three hours during the week trying to gather my coupons, figure out what I'm going to do. And it takes me that amount of time because I don't sit and do it for one day. I might do it for 30 minutes Monday, 30 minutes Tuesday. So by the end of the week, it's taken me that long to figure a deal because, hey, I'm a mom and a wife. I got stuff to do. So, um... I kind of like do it here and there so that's why I don't plan my deals at all I can kind of like give you an idea of okay you can use this CRT with this and this CRT with that and this coupon and so on but when you get to the store either something may not be in stock or the CRT is not going to scan or this week the coupon didn't scan you know my Revlon coupon didn't scan there was no reason that that coupon should have not scanned it was um, the coupon that matched the item, the first coupon scan. So why didn't the second one scan? It wasn't going to give me overage or anything like that. I was still having to pay for the product, but I don't know. CVS is kind of like changing their systems and, um, it's just kind of like, I don't know, kind of sucks if you ask me. But, um, in the meantime, I'm, like I said, I'm still going to go there. I just want you guys to know that I'm still in this, I'm in the same boat as you, um, my CRTs are horrible and I'm having to like make deals work but at the same time I'm doing deals that are benefiting me when it's using my personal card like when I'm doing a $10 challenge I think that that's good as a whole because I'm definitely thinking about new people that are starting each week um, if somebody wants to start on Sunday they're gonna be able to get all of these items and they're gonna end with a certain amount of extra books so um, I'm always thinking about the new couponers starting that particular day and when I'm doing my deals I don't want to do anything that I'm not going to use at home that I don't need at home or you know just to do a deal to do a deal that doesn't benefit me at all and I'm definitely not going to spend any money I may lose ECBs but I'm not trying to come out of pocket to pay for anything at CVS so I did have a zero total last night I didn't I mean a zero out of pocket because in my state, the um, ECBs will cover the tax. And if I did not mention this, I don't know if I mentioned this last night, but when I did the pizza deal, I totally forgot to put the footage in there because I did record it. I used ECBs to pay for the pizza. So it was $7.28 and I used $7 in ECBs to pay for that transaction and it wiped it out. So I didn't owe anything because there's no tax on pizza. So it kind of wiped it out. So that was that transaction. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in because um, a lot of people were, you know, kind of venting with me about CVS. And for those of you who don't have Instagram, I just wanted you to know that I'm having the same issue. Um, I don't get the email coupons anymore, like for 30% off. And I did read a comment tonight where someone said that, you know, I don't mention those, but I'll make sure to mention it more because even though I'm not getting it, I kind of felt that a lot of people weren't getting them anymore at all. 
um, along with me. So that's why I kind of stopped mentioning it, but I will definitely take it into consideration and start mentioning those percent off coupons because like I said, some of you are new and you are getting the emails and you're getting these great CRTs to use. So I'm gonna take a different approach when I start doing my um, upcoming CVS deals. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit into more detail and talk about things that way it can help um, new people that are starting out. And then when I do my deals, I'll try to add more information when I'm like doing my in-store video. So um, with that being said, um, I had a lot of requests because I'm really starting to love Walgreens. I had a lot of requests to start doing in-store videos at Walgreens. However, I cannot do that. Um, I might be able to do it hit or miss, but it's going to be something that I cannot commit to. Number one, I don't have a 24-hour Walgreens in my area. And number two, I'm not a pro at Walgreens. I know the ins and out of it, but I am not a Walgreens expert by any means. I do know how to go in there and do a deal and get a very good deal. And also um, on Sundays, because I film on Saturday nights for CVS, so on Sundays, I don't want to like have to... I'm not going to film in the daytime, so the only time I would have to film would be at night. But take into consideration that I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I have things to do like in my own personal life. Um, as well so I just kind of can't dedicate an entire day to filming and it's just going to be kind of hard so here and there I may be able to but I just know that I'm not going to be able to commit to it as well as doing like um, breakdowns for Walgreens during the week I don't think I'm going to be able to do that either because normally what I do on Sundays when I go to Walgreens I wake up after I've already done all my editing for CBS. And then um, after we go to church and come back home, then I go to Walgreens and I will literally walk around Walgreens and I'm like reading the ad and I'm trying to figure out, okay, what deals I'm going to do. I got my coupons in my car and um, I'm checking the app. So that is how I do my Walgreens. It's spur of the moment. So if you notice, I may not get every deal. I miss deals because I'm just in there that spur of the moment, like doing the deals as I go. So that is that, but um, yeah, I just pretty much wanted to tell you guys um, about CVS. I'm in the same boat as you. Hopefully it'll get better, but um, just remember, do not buy anything that you're not comfortable spending money on, and you know, don't think that you need to spend $20 a week at CVS, I promise. You do not have to do that. You do not have to spend that much money at CVS, and especially if you have a stockpile. If you guys could see, like, I have a stockpile here. I have a stockpile everywhere. Like I have so much to where um, I'm doing my deals now. Pretty much I'm stocking up for my son in college. But um, most of it is I, I donate so much stuff. I give a lot of it to my family. I took a bag to my neighbor the other day. So as far as like in my house, I'm good on particular pro on certain products. But a lot of it is just me teaching. That is why I'm doing it. So if you wonder, why do you coupon so much? Why? Because I'm teaching others how to coupon and how to stock up and how to save money. And, you know, just by the emails and the comments, I really do know that the videos are helping. So that is it. I just wanted to get on here. And, you know, if you guys want to vent in the comments and tell me about your CRTs, I will be happy to read it so I can let you know that I am getting the same horrible ones as well. But on that note, I hope that you guys had a wonderful Sunday. Um, if this video goes up on Monday, I'm not quite sure. But if you are off tomorrow, I hope you enjoy your day off. It's President's Day. Remember, there's no mail. I'm a little salty because everybody in my house has to go to um, is off and they don't have to work and there's no school. And I have to go to work. But that's okay. That is okay, okay? I may or may not be a little salty about that. And it's gonna rain, so they're all gonna be like in the bed sleeping, raining, and I'm gonna have to drive to work. <sighs> I'm not happy about that. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video.